just got done a great meditation session. Sitting right there, had my binaural beats on, looking at the beautiful sky, the green, and the earth. I want to go on a little journey with you all. We'll call it the inspired path. Hey, it's fresh in the flesh. I'm here on the river walk, Tampa Bay. About to catch the mega bus to Miami for the weekend to hang out with my siblings. And gotta dodge these guys real quick. Up where I'm about to go, there are tons of quotes and I'm gonna read the quotes and just expand on each one rapid fire have some fun with it let's begin or shall I say let's win at life with this wonderful wisdom under the bridge hope no trolls come out but I don't care if trolls comment because you focus on all the good like the sky the blue beautiful tint of the sky mmm the lovely water the fantastic flowers. Now, let's gain some positive power. First quote, we got Helen Keller. The best and most beautiful things cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Hmm. Meaning, connection, emotion. Feel your heart and let that guide you. That's when you'll feel the most joy in life. You know, you see things, but it all comes back to the heart. That's where everything emanates and pumps from. It's where the best life is coming out of. Ah, my favorite. Ralph Waldo Emerson. The creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. Hmm, never heard that one before. I know a lot of Emerson. And that's a new one. The creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. Meaning, there's so much potential in one seed so much potential in one of you just yourself can have enormous potential shoot all these buildings started out as a thought skyscrapers cities and now look at it it's amazing so there, it just goes to show there's massive potential in everything we do every thought we have every person and especially this world at large. But let's look at my man, Martin Luther King. Faith is taking the first step when even, even when you don't see the whole staircase, that's what he did, you know? You might not see the whole staircase, but take the steps, take it. And the staircase will sometimes form. Have faith in it, have faith in it. I did see one faith related quote and that's Mother Teresa and I'm gonna expand on faith then. But here's something awesome about John Wayne. Courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. Mm, that's like, you know, taking that leap of faith, you know, banging your head into the wall and knowing that the hole will be, a hole will be there. Right, a hole's gonna be there. Jumping and knowing that a net's gonna be there. Right, sink or swim. I might not know how to swim, I do, but if I didn't, I'm gonna dive in there and learn how. I'm gonna ride that thing and figure out how to do it. So it's that kind of, just saddle up and go for it. Let's stop and appreciate the flowers as we go to the next one. The eye sees only what the mind is prepared to comprehend. Expectation. That's what I get out of that. See, I expected to have a fantastic day. Sure enough, I'm having one. So expect this. Your mind's going to be prepared to see these awesome things and it's going to comprehend only what you are truly capable of. So constantly expand your reality by expecting more and more and the awesomeness that life offers. Okay. Explore and expand. Here we go. Never tell people how to do things. Tell them what to do and they will surprise you with their ingenuity. George Patton. Mmm. Creativity. Give people opportunities. I'm having opportunities with my work now and I'm kind of surprising people with what I'm doing. I'm impressing people, but I'm just doing my own thing. Give me, give your, give opportunities to others. Give yourself opportunity, crush it, you know? Be, be ingenuitive as it says there. Innovate. Here we go. 
the true measure of an individual is how he treats a person who can do him absolutely no good. Mm, I love that because I love just giving sometimes, leading with generosity. And I know I'm not going to get anything back. And that's like the most fulfilling time to really be generous. That's when I feel prosperous is when I'm giving like that. I know this little league team I'm donating to can't give me anything back. But I just want to see it do good. I know the bum on the street, you know, might be able to give me back. But, you know, he served in the... He served in the war, so he's already given so much. I know he can't give anything back, but I'm going to give it anyway. That's a great feeling. I like that quote. Let's keep it going. Oh, I love this one. I know God will not give me anything I can't handle. I just wish he didn't trust me so much. Wow. It just is amazing because God loves us so much, so much, and he gives us so much great stuff, and it's he trusts us. He believes in us, and that leadership he has in us. It's so empowering. So inspiring. I think uh, Chris Bernard at the strength camp, he he gives me so much opportunity. He believes in me. and His leadership makes me want to rise up. Other mentors I had in the past makes me want to rise up like the foam on the beer, man. It is incredible when somebody else believes in you. What you, what you do because of that. How much of a positive impact that makes in your life. Luke Faust, one of my Mr. Faust at IUP, I'd go to his office and he'd say, let's take it over here, Doug. I can, let's go for that. Let's try and speak. Let's inter- like the challenges they give you. It's awesome. So get that from somebody and also give that to somebody. Constantly challenge somebody and give them leadership. Next one. Is there, if, if there is magic on this planet, it is contained in water. Wow. I sure feel it. I'm around the water here at St. Pete in Tampa and it's a spiritual place. And when I drink water, I always thank the water. And they say that changes the molecular structure when you say to water, I love you. Maybe it's hocus pocus, but it works for me. Experiment it, try it. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, I don't even know if anything needs to be said after that. I'm all about that, going to seminars, reading books, you know, because if you don't, ignorance is not bliss, it's poverty, it's, it's misery, it's, struggle it's pain learn 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 have the faith and learn along the way definitely invest invest money time everything in your education and it might cost money but you know what costs more money not knowing let that knowledge lead to experience and wisdom okay i think we have one or two more the art of being wise is the art of knowing what to overlook the great american philosopher grandfather of uh, psychology William James okay knowing what to overlook that's wisdom when I said about knowledge and then wisdom wisdom is that knowing the difference what to discern you want to discern things that just you know don't matter so I mentioned what YouTube comments over there doesn't matter focus on the positive know, know what to overlook because no one can make you feel inferior without your consent Eleanor Roosevelt. See? It's up to you. You have so much power within you. So much greatness within you. I'm just trying to unlock it, sharing some wisdom quotes here. I'm going to come back here in five years and see how I interpret these differently. I encourage you to come down here and maybe do something like this yourself or you know, get inspired by quotes. This is what I like. Maybe you're similar. You probably are if you've stuck along this far. I got one last one to share with you. But keep doing you. I love getting encouraged by people. I love encouraging others, uplifting, helping, serving, sharing. It's stupendous. It's sensational with the sun. I'm having fun. Last one. How does one become a butterfly? You must want to fly so much that you are willing to give up being a caterpillar. Transform, evolve to a stronger, greater, better version of yourself. Breathe and smile. Life is awesome. I made a video expanding on that. I'll put the link below.